Chan. Chan, go inside right now. Now, I don't know who you are. I thought that land is land. When you're talking about a place, land is land. If it must be, why is John coming to my body? Why is he coming to my body? And what would be the interest in him applying any matter, any ma any any matter for that matter, any type of matter? If it must be someone's trying to hurt John, he can land here. And I thought about that, that at your darkest hour, you may not want to call the minister of the church or the, the usher or the executive people of the church. You may want to call a deacon who has been a pimp, a prostitute. That someone should answer the phone if there's no one available. Chen, go inside. Your hair is gold and you have on red pants and no shirt, no shoes. Put that on. It's a black thing. And you cannot receive phone calls. You can go in the special room and make phone calls. There's food in there and go inside and stand there. Now, I don't know who you are, but I ain't crazy at all. Yes, I'm Aaron Moran. With the task at hand, it would seem to me that my son, S-U-N, my son, that it's most that I'd be of complexion in relation to that. And if I have a baby and I have a man on me, you're gonna be darker anyway, that I better look like real dark in case somebody come and take my baby. Which one? Okay. That, of course I know it's Aaron Moran, but I can look at it without any feeling. And we know why, the task at hand. And I'm certain that you wanna look like George Michael. You wanna be German, a woman. German, a woman that has the ability to be an APE. I don't use people, it's not an inverse relationship in relation to Lady Liberty, that uh, I'm just recklessly handling any life form for a subject, for my enjoyment. Sydney Shelton. Kiki, you really need to watch this movie. I watched the movie. Kiki, you really need to watch this movie. I watched the movie. Kiki, you really need to watch this movie. I've watched several movies. The misery that I should be in. I'm very disappointed. That would be anybody who knows anyone, anybody. And I'm certain that George Michael can get his body. I think he looks better than the people that there's this new family. But that's no count to me. But it should be a count to you. When you're coming to me, telling me that I should give up my body. I like having sex in the new world. I do. What would make you think, because I know you're white supremacist, that Lord, Latoya Jackson, she real light skin. And she got to spread and play, girl, playboy. Why should I give up my body? And you, all you talk about is how big Larry Hustler dick is. That's all you talk about. Why would I give up my body? And, and you're going to force me without telling me what's going on. And that the miraculous, it is unbelievable. And it's an absolute disaster for you because when I watch myself, who is, who's going to save me? Me. Who can save me? I can save me. I can do that. But what are you going to do about all the incisions, all the cuts? When people start using terms like mammy, when I call you spick, when I call you a black woman, Valerie Simpson, that you're a redneck. It, it is out of this world. But I ain't never really said that to no white supremacist. They will knock you clean out. That is an offensive term. Why? Why are these terms so offensive? But you call me ma'am. You know, the nappy dugout. Who? Oprah Winfrey. It's because I didn't, you know, how did the Indians and the Africans and the people that were with them understand what Christopher Columbus said when he came back and they were the Pilgrims and the Quakers? Was it because they had time out with them? And he was volunteering with them. He was one of them. Because the Indians and the Africans said, cold, cold? Okay. They said, we want some fire, we want some liquor. Yeah, we can do that. We're going to sit together. But I thought you were going to be offended by us. You crazy. I'm not going to give you no fire, no liquor. I'm not giving that to you. We'll sit with you. Not a problem. Okay? And that's what you can't do with to this very day. That governments, just because they are of another 
code could understand your belief system would we find some type of S O space H S H L L L some some belief system we do not agree with it. But if it must be, you can practice that here, but it is not the national way. And there is a separation of church and state here. That governance, just because we are of another way, another designation, another appointment. This delivery that you speak of, we are the United States of America, this land, this globe, we are not this delivery that, that would free the slaves. But if we could, we would. We are independent and free of tyranny. People, this and Snoopy cried in pain and desperation when presented with the fact, with the words, with the law, with the real testament of what actually happened. He cried out in pain and proceeded to carry on, claiming without the, even the jewels of Julius Caesar, that even Julius Caesar, Mark Anthony is not everywhere. At the Judeo hour, when the door should open, that everybody should get there for health should see other people daily and that some people don't need you I don't need to see you daily but when I just see you I need to see you and you're listening at that very hour that you are crying out in pain and then Snoopy cried out the very nose is in pain and went back into a regular brick building which is buying a brick building when you're talking about a black woman who built the pyramids is right there that those aren't men how they're struggling right there to close Yoshebel into a crevice. And that Yoshebel had nothing to say to uh, Joshua, Jewish, for the living water, for the young Peter, Joshua. He had nothing to say to Ramses, Moses, or Sebi. He had nothing to say to them, or the Canaanite. That they orchestrated that say something that she could for yourself but this time they made it that she could not i have nothing to say to you but at the same time i can go to the park avenue festival if it must be but you've made that impossible whatever you're attempting what is absolute satan to lie at any cost no matter what law what words what rules what what history what newspaper what photos presented to you is some type of luciferian belief that you find and follow the code, even the penal code, the, the, the is law of the United States of America of all ancient times, that when it's an avalanche, you go inside, okay? <laughs> and it's willing to fall, it will get, it will have a whole stack full of paperwork. But when it comes to the ancient, this Indian, this African, with the full set of jewels, you laugh. I know it's a nervous twist with the task that you're undertaking, <laughs> but I'm not going to take it away. It is a, it is very offensive, especially when you build momentum and still I don't respect you. I respect that you might hurt me, but don't get it twisted. But as far as some authority figure, you have just assassinated and killed your own very leader, Eisenhower, JFK, uh, Attorney General Robert Kennedy, um, Tony Blair. Any chance that you had at this country that Marco Rubio talked about for the people, brown people, and I don't know exactly what they look like. This is the greatest country, isn't it? That you're walking around with carte blanc, an altar, carte blanc, blanca, with Erica Badu's American Express. Yes, I can go to Rainbow and get a dress for $3. I can go to New York Company. No, I can't. With the interest of the matter on $1, it's like carrying the rock of Gibraltar that we had David Muir with a baseball bat at stone chins, the pressure on hitting that back that what you're talking about when you show it in uh, Asian films or what you're undertaking and it's, 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 it's we're resolved, we're fervor talking about at any cost if you ask any questions about yourself or anybody else that you've been a violation of the Family Protection Act that you are engaging in the Mind Intellectual Invasion Act and are stating that you are crazy, you need me to get to Strong Memorial Psychiatric Wing to give you help. And are listening right now and are thriving, benefiting from it. That I want to take a break and fuck you up real bad. I could kill everybody on this planet and it will only be a bowling ball with still left. <clears throat> that you got a man on me. You're claiming that somebody's trying to hurt him. 
I've seen him in several movies, and I don't know what his uh, physical composition is, but I don't know. I, he doesn't have all the force of this planet. He doesn't have Superman, that he could just be on the other side of the world in five minutes and got the force of uh, the Adirondacks and knock 10,000 people out at one time. He don't got that, and he will never have that here again, Valerie Simpson. But what you're on to is Anthony Bourdain, parts unknown. He is an Israeli man traveling. I don't buy it. He's a representative for uh, some created women, designing women. It's a representative uh, <laughs> for Israel with fine wares on traveling the world, tasting fine foods, and all the people that, that would serve him. Living my life, that bitch. You're trying to look like George Michael. I've always known who I am. But at what cost, the white supremacy, to make a race of women that only look like Leanne Rimes? They only look like Leanne Rimes. When I see Leanne Rimes, I see Garth Brooks. Just wash your pussy, bitch. It can be explained, connect the dots, that you were here when you were. I got pictures of you, and every time you attended anything, you dropped out wearing your Reebok and what you got and sucking that big ass stick. I don't give a fuck about you. I did care about my son. I hope the best for my son, but my son made this possible for you. I have not seen the sun has not shown his face in over two months that you're working with thermodynamics and printed it with my picture and uh, the New World Order that you don't do a goddamn thing for your son, your man, your person, and you a lazy motherfucking bitch just like my son, Jefferson, said. He was better off as a jigaboo bitch sucking dick. Fuck you.